Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch gallery wrapped canvas. I'm going to do a ring pour on it, but I'm going to try and get some of the fingers that you see other artists do when they do their ring pour. And uh, let's go over my paints. My base coat today is going to be Deco Art Metallics White Pearl. And if I have enough left, I may put some in the pour. I'm not sure yet. I'm using a lot of the golden um, fluid acrylics today. First one is the Iridescent Copper Fine. Next one is the Golden Teal. My next one is the Golden Turquoise Phalo. The next one is Golden Permanent Dark Violet. Very pretty color. The next one is Golden Green Gold. And the last golden color is Viridian Green Hue. And I did use a color shift. This is the um, Blue Flash. That's all my colors I'm using today. I am using the mix today, seven parts of the mix to one part of paint. The only paint I needed to add water was my base coat. And let me show you consistency here. This is what seven parts of the mix and one part of the paint looks like with these uh, fluid acrylics. Just leaves a trace. So what I'm going to do is turn off the camera, put down my base coat, and um, fill my cup, and then I'll bring you back and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat down with a little puddle in the middle. I have poured my cup, layered my cup, and I'll show you those layers. And I did pour from the edge down. And we're just going to start with a, just with a dirty pour and just see, see where it goes here. Lots of colors in this painting. I'm sorry for being so quiet, but I am trying to concentrate here.
Okay. And I am losing a little paint, so I'm going to tip it back this way just a little bit. Maybe I'll turn it. And I'm going to take my skewer and just kind of fix, fix this ending here a little bit. There we go. And I will give it a torch. And since I do have some of the white paint left, my base coat, I am going to put some around the paint to help it move. And on the edges here. And I am going to just smooth that out a little bit. Okay. Look how interesting this cup looks. Very pretty. Okay, so let's start with some tipping here. And I'm going to do it slowly. Trying to bring it back to the center each time. All these colors are so pretty. I wish I didn't have to waste any of this paint. Just covering that, those couple of corners there. And I'll bring it back to the middle now. And let's get this corner down here since I'm so close. And bring it back. And I'm going to take my skewer again and just try and fix that a little bit before I do any more tipping. Okay, happier with that. And now this last corner. Okay, and I will bring that back. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at it here a minute. Let 
gonna cover my edges, my corners. I'm going to tip down a little bit more this way. Still have quite a bit of paint on here. I'm trying to be careful not to lose any of my lines. Okay. And I will bring this back. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit too. I'm going to try and run the paint off of this corner completely here. And bring that back. The more I stretch these lines out, the better this painting looks. Okay, I'm going to take another look at it. I'm going to take a little bit off of this corner. If I can get the paint to move. I'm going to help it a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to bring that back. And I'm going to bring this all back into the center now. Covering my corner here, trying to urge this paint to come off the corner. See if I can tip this down a little bit. Okay, that's better. And I'm going to bring it back now. And a little bit down, I believe. Take a little bit off of this corner down here. Just stretching these lines out. Okay. 
and now I'll bring it back again. Okay, now I'll take a look at it here. We're kind of covering those corners up a little bit and cleaning the bottom off as I go. I'm really liking this in here. Beautiful and up in here. It's really, really pretty. So let me give it another torch. And I think I just really still want to try and get a little bit more of the paint off on this corner. Just to stretch that out even a little more. Okay, now bring that back. And I am bringing it more down into the middle there. Although I do like it coming off to the side like that. I don't want it exactly right in the middle. I do like it like that. Very, very pretty. As you can see, as I stretched, a lot of this copper came out here. Composition wise, I think it would go like this way. I'm still going to try and get a little paint off of this corner down here. Remember, you can play with your painting as much as you want to get it exactly the way you want it. Okay, and now I'll bring that back. Just bringing my lines back towards the center here. My paint is still moving just very slowly. Okay. Pretty happy with that. I think I will give it one more torch. And then I'll bring you down for a close up. Wise, I believe it would go this way. Okay, let's bring you down for a close up. Okay, everybody, I'm back now for the close up. This is the upper left hand corner. And you can just really see the shimmer in all of these paints being that they're all metallics. Just going down the left-hand side here.
lines are so very crisp. This is the lower left hand corner. And now I'll take you up the middle. Again, this is a 12 by 12 inch gallery wrapped canvas. And you can just see the layers of paint in this area, the copper, very pretty. I did not achieve the finger look, but I am very happy with the results of this painting. A ring pour that I just really stretched out. This is my one of my favorite spots of the whole painting is right in here. I just like the effects that the paint got in this area. I'll take you over to the upper right. And we'll just go down the right hand side. And then this is the lower, the lower right hand side. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. That would be great. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And I will be taking a little time off of social media, but I'll be back before you know it. And so until next time, take care, everybody. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.